Um, and that's a switch handle. I think I know for what. I... Oh, sorry. I need a key over here. And that's the wrench. And a fuse. Don't tell me what. Two out of three, one out of two, one out of three, one out of two. <laughs> of course. Because why can't I find a useful item? Well, I guess the wrench. <laughs> if I ever find one out of two wrench, then I'm gonna quit. <laughs> no, that's just a joke, but really. So many out of two, out of threes. It's really bothering me. Three and two out of two. Okay. Now how do I fix this? Let's get new fuses. Now we can uh, go downstairs again. And oh yeah, I need to go outside here. Uh, the switch handle. Oh yeah, before I open that door, the switch handle is probably useful over here, right? Yes. Underground generator room. That's the generator. I found a room with a huge generator in the scientist's lair. I think that this generator must be the main energy source for many of the mechanisms here. I still can't believe that all of these things were created by one man. And I need to find the missing red crystal. But I do get one out of one screwdriver, at least. And do get rid of this cover. Use the screwdriver. And that was a one-time screwdriver, unfortunately. Must find all the missing parts. Okay, what do we have over here? Ah, the next puzzle. Pincer, spring, stamp, spider, capacitor, slingshot, knuckles. Coin. Is that a coin? No. That's the coin. Can, key, spring, stamp. That's the key. Capacitor, slingshot. That's a slingshot. Knuckles. Pincer, spring, stamp. Is that a spring? No, that's uh, that's another scale. Pincer. Yeah, spring, stamp. Mm, can spider. Lots of webs, and that's the spider. Can a frog up here? What's that? It seems there's something on the mirror, but I can't quite make it out. Is there a rag or something to clean the mirror? Or use that. That's our heart. Good. Uh, no, that's not a can. That Wait, that's a can. Then that thing? No. Huh? Which one of them is the can? Is that a... No. Spring... That's a capacitor, right? Uh, spring, stamp, and can. Spring, stamp, and can. That's the... no. Ah, where's this can? This one, no. That's the stamp. Now, how about a spring? 
that's the spring. Good. <laughs> now I just need to find the can. That's not a 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 can. This one. No. Can. Don't tell me it's just a. Uh, <laughs> um. Just a piece of paper with can written on it. I mean. Ah, no. Here it is. I almost suspected it, but no. So I've got, uh, well, at least I got three out of three of something. Let's see. Open this. And yeah. We kind of messed up the order of diary entries, huh? So, first of all, uh, once I turned on the light in the generator room, I found a lot of blueprints. One of them was for a device that produces strong magnetic uh, radiation. This thing might help me destroy the mechanism in the laboratory. Uh, that's that's the one that needs a red crystal to operate. But um, we got this one first, and then, which is uh, for for a puzzle under the cover, and then we got the entry for the cover. Okay, so we used our X-ray vision to see what's behind this. Must find a way to switch off the protective field. Ah yes, I must find a way to switch off the protective field. Uh, no. Um, uh, so I need to switch off the main generator for that. So. Right, that's another capacitor. Balloon, crow, carrot, razor, beans, float, cork. I need a cork screw to open this. Okay, that's the razor right next to the cork screw, and that's the cork bunny. Uh, bunny right in the middle, crown over here, a painting, beans, mama bee, tomato, tomato, uh, pl that's the tomato. <laughs> Kinda look like the same thing, that's the carrot. Beans, float, and bumblebee. Bumblebee over here. A float. Is that a float? No. Beans and a float. Okay. Got two grapes. That's not a float. No, that's the that's the hook. Um, we need the one. <laughs> yeah, we need the thing that floats on top of the water. Uh, here it is. And beans, and then we're done. No. This one? No, that's a uh, that's a caterpillar. Beans. Those are grapes, right? Yeah. No beans. Over here? Yes. And now we should be able to turn off the generator's power. Uh, insert the capacitors and set all pieces so the rays don't intersect. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, this one goes over here and this. Ooh. Wait, this one. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. This 
one needs to go here. Okay. Nope, that's not possible. these out of the way wait can I uh, let's move these two down over here and then those are still crossing each other here we go I should cut the power to the gate and um, um okay oh yeah it also opened a new puzzle good carpenter advice wood loss test flask telescope butterflies capel Cricket news five wheel. That's the news. Five. Five. <laughs> okay. Uh, cricket over here. A letter. I need to write the letter first, of course. Telescope. Butterfly. Octopus. Test flask, carpenter vice. That's the butterfly. Wheel? Um, that's a wheel? Oh, no. This one. Okay. Uh, scapel. No, it's not a scapel. That's just a regular knife. That's a scapel. Octopus, uh, another painting. Test flask, wood louse. Uh, no. That's a ladybug. Mm, five carpenter vice what loss test flask Is that a test flask no this one no test flask that's the carpenter vice Ah, now I can write the letter. Good. Um, test flask. Cup, uh, test flask. Five, five and wood louse. That's the wood louse. Uh, test flask and five. Ah, oh, yeah, the Roman numeral five. And the test flask. This one? No. Test flask. So I'm guessing the long and thin glass tube. So somewhat like that, just thinner as something like that. Test flask. This one? Yeah. 
two out of two. Um, where do I need those two again? I think upstairs. Ah, uh, but before I do that, oh no, I I don't need it upstairs. I need it over here. Okay. Place the tokens in the appropriate position so that the images on them correspond with images on the mechanism plates. Ah. So then the fly goes over here. Um can I not touch them or not? Uh, you go over here, this one goes over there. Uh the telescope. Oh, give me a second. Telescope and planet. Which one should go to the sun and which one should go? Uh, uh. No. That's very difficult to control. Um, telescope? Okay. So that means... Oh. No. Telescope over there and planet... over here good now we need to switch those through um, so wheat goes up there a key goes down there and uh, no the fly needs to go up here so done Him. Watch out, green clouds are usually not very healthy. Underground laboratory. Oh. Oh my god. Those poor people, I must find a way to rescue them. So this is a scientist's secret machine, how awful. All of those people in those glass containers kind of reminds me of um, the the novel um, uh, the perfume or perfume of someone uh, heard about that where this one guy uh, tries to basically uh, steal the smell of good smelling people and turn it into a perfume um, kind of reminds me of that. There was also a movie that had scenes like that. It's really, really creepy. Um, that's a red crystal. Must assemble a postal device to destroy this terrible machine. And I know how to do that. Not over here. No. Um, the elevator was... There it is. Upstairs? Uh, wait. No. Ah, no, 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 no. Completely wrong. Um, there wasn't a generator room. Underground lift, back, back, down to the generator room, and here it is. Now we have the machine. A pulsar device. Back to the laboratory and time to destroy it. You can't ruin what I've been building for so many years. You simply can't. Oh, I can. There he is. No, how dare you destroy my work? 
This isn't the end. I will return for vengeance. What is he doing? Teleporting around again, huh? But that doesn't matter. We have to help the people here first. And so I was able to save not only my son, but all of the missing people in town. It was the end of quite an adventure. But I have a feeling it won't be my last. And that's it. That was Whispered Secrets, The Story of Tideville, the Collector's Edition. Um, I guess we already saw that one. So let's go back to the menu. Um, first of all, under extras. Let's see. Um, it's time to listen to all of the soundtracks again. And here we have track number one. Oh, even has volume. Uh, okay, and that's just a normal soundtrack. Yeah, that one's not bad. Um, soundtrack 2. Oh, that's the one with the heartbeat. Very ominous. Um, just kind of skipping through a bit because... The soundtrack is very different in the second half, huh? Hmm, hmm. Okay, number three. More relaxed at the beginning, okay. Not bad. And number four. Two minutes. Again, more relaxed. Yeah. So... Um, those were the main four soundtracks. Not bad. Um, I really like this one. Um, with the heartbeat at the uh, uh, beginning and the main main track from the menu those are my two favorites yeah okay let's see concept art um, that's in front of our house that was the bell tower, the library, yeah. Um, that's the interior of our house. That was the orphanage. Uh, the teleporter room. One of the many secret rooms. So many secret rooms. <laughs> um, the uh, st storage room, uh, notice the storage, uh, the warehouse, that's it. The warehouse near the orphanage, that's the cemetery, the crypt, uh, and that's the crypt near the cemetery. I don't remember this one. I don't know what that is. And that's it. Okay. Uh, wallpapers. This one, Rudy, 
I forgot his name already. And the bonus chapter. Oh yeah. And those are from the abandoned island. Okay. Um and screensavers. Oh. Well not the best, but I guess that's okay. Now, um, it's time to look at the strategy guide if I'm able to find it somewhere. Uh, no, extras? Wait, where's the strategy guide? More info. Strategy guide. Here it is. The walkthrough menu. So, um, we've got the general tabs, of course. And here we go. Um, chapter 1, Tim Goes Missing. That's the introduction. Everything relatively normal. Um, that's the first crystal that we have to fire, uh, collect. Then we have to collect every other crystal. I don't know if collecting I, so um, collecting the crystals is not optional. You have to get all of them if you want to complete the game, because you need the fifteen crystals at the end to power the teleporter. However, is it possible to complete one section of the game and then just not collect the crystals? I don't know. Maybe uh, I'm gonna try that out at some point because I think. Um, yeah, so as soon as you go to the abandoned island, you can no longer go back to the city, so you can't collect any of the crystals there if you haven't already collected all of them. Uh, maybe I, uh, maybe I'm gonna try that out at some point. But the game just prevents you from doing that. Um, so. Second, strategy guide, and here we go again. So, uh, that's the first. Uh, that's not the first hidden object puzzle. The first one was in his room, right? Oh, yeah, that's the first one. Also, that's something that I found out because I had to play the game twice because of a. Uh, um, crash at the end um, that yeah basically meant that I wasn't able to see the final cutscene so I played the entire game again and I actually found out that not only um, do they recycle the hidden object puzzle which I think is a really good idea it's also so that in a second playthrough you will actually have to look for different objects so it's not always the exact same thing like in the in the first playthrough i had to look for these objects but in a second one and that's something that i immediately um immediately felt something was different because the sailor was actually not one of the things that I had to uh, that I had to look for. You know, I, uh, when I replayed it, I just said, "Okay, yeah." So I remember I have to uh, click on the nose. I have to get the nose here, and I have to get the sailor. But um, when I tried clicking on it, I was like, well, "Wait a second, um, it, it doesn't work." So and then I and then I looked at the object list, and the sailor wasn't there. So, in a second playthrough, um, you will actually have to look for different um, different objects here, which I think is a fantastic idea for a second playthrough. Um, it's not all different. Some of these objects are the same. Um, I think like about half of them are different, which is just a fantastic idea next to... Um, Next to having 
the the same scene be used for multiple hidden upgrade puzzles. I think that's a really good idea. I really like that. Um, then over here we have the kitchen, that's the next puzzle. Again, I had to look for different items here, which was just... Yeah, it, it took me a while to realize that. Um, uh, the, at the first... Uh, at the first puzzle, I um, I just thought that maybe maybe the sailor was in the uh, second um, in the second puzzle in this scene, but no, it actually wasn't. And here was uh, was the first time when I realized, yeah, I'm I'm actually looking for different objects at the second playthrough, and that's uh, quite nice. Um, overall, I have to say that the difficulty of those some of those mini games um, the difficulty of some of those mini games is really high so of course not this one um, some of them are literally just find a code and then plug it in that's okay that's just part of a story that's not really a mini game you don't actually have to figure something out yourself uh, you get the answer and then you just type it in okay that's not a problem um, but overall, the mini games and the hidden objects puzzles are really difficult. Um, and I got stuck on several of them. Um, but none of them are difficult in a way that they just they just don't tell you about the uh, um, mechanic or something like that. No, it's it's actually just just a difficult mini game, and. I really like that. It's you have to think about it and you have to figure it out. And I think that made those mini games really enjoyable. Uh I never really got frustrated or something like that. Um the only reason why I got frustrated at some point in the game was because of all of these um 1 out of 3, 1 out of 2, 1 out of 3 items. I think I said that quite often, but I really don't like um, finding and uh, looking around and then finding an item only to have it be number 1 out of 3. Because that means I found something that doesn't actually help me in any meaningful way right now. Like it's completely, I found something that is completely useless. And I have to find two more things before it becomes useful. I really don't like that. Um, but overall, the rest, the hidden object puzzles and the mini games in this game were just... Uh, I think they were great. <laughs> um, this one, again, they kind of told you how to solve it, but then you still had to figure out how to arrange everything to to get it right that's okay so overall these mini games um have a higher difficulty than of similar games that i've played um yeah and that's now we're over here there's just so many scenes uh, like in, in in this one scene, uh, so many places in in every scene. In this one we have one, two, three, four, five, and then technically over here six places in one scene. That's one, two, three, four, five over here. So you really have to look around a lot. Um, we have two different hidden object puzzles in this room, and then two, three locations. So, oh yeah, I remember this puzzle, it took me forever to finish it, and I don't know why. Um, the sequence would be two, 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 four, 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 one, one, two, two, two. Oh, great. I, uh, yeah, it took me way too long to uh, complete this. Again, um, it was just a bit more difficult than what I expected, but uh, still very enjoyable. Again, just because I say something is difficult doesn't mean 
that I don't enjoy it, I actually do enjoy more difficult games. Um, it just obviously takes longer to uh, finish it that way. Uh, that's why sometimes I had to cut some uh, mini games because it just yeah it just took way too long and would have made um, if if I'm stuck for like 20 minutes on a single mini game and each of my uh, episodes are like 30 minutes long so yeah um, that's that's not good so sometimes I just uh, cut uh, cut in the middle to make sure that um, I don't waste too much time on them that's this one and then yeah that's that's the first one there was so much stuff to do here it's insane Here again and again. That's the clock tower. The moon and the ship again in the second playthrough. Half of the objects are different. And uh, yeah. Really interesting, really interesting. Um, but so it seems like they make the strategy guide for the first playthrough. So it's not completely random what, what like which objects you get. Um, it's just that in a second playthrough you get different objects. I'm guessing. Yeah, so all of the objects are for the first playthrough. Mm. Uh, that's the lock. Oh yeah, that's the boat. And now we're on the island. This one. <laughs> the mechanical spider, the reason why the scientist got uh, exiled from the town. We still don't know too much about the scientist. Uh, we know he made mechanical creatures and then one of them scared the people and then they drove him out of town. And he said he wanted to destroy the world and uh, something like that but we still don't know what his actual plan was or uh, what are his intentions really like he, he's, he's angry because people don't like his inventions and that's it like what is his motivation for all of that he could have just you know, gone to somewhere else or maybe just did his inventing stuff without hurting someone but no he decided that he wanted to destroy the world now and I feel like um, we only scratched the surface of his story there's much more uh, to know about this guy and I would really like to figure it out Um, so maybe after this one I will probably do the next Grim Tales. So then after uh, the, the next one, part 8 of Grim Tales, I'm probably going to do the next one of uh, the Whispered Secrets. And maybe we will find out what the motivation behind his uh, destructive plans actually was maybe find more about the history of this guy like 
where he was coming from, how he got so brilliant or interested in these machines or so. Really sounds like an interesting story. And I do want to know more about it. Those are all the things from the orphanage. Yeah. The one where we needed two different screwdrivers. Why would you ever use... <laughs> Why would you ever use two different kinds of screws just for this lamp cover? Anyways. Um, that's one of his many secret rooms again he had. Secret rooms, behind secret rooms, under secret rooms, next to secret rooms, and then there's a secret room passageway to another secret room. No, oh, here we go. I think that that is one of the most difficult minigames that we had. I really, really like this one. Uh, was that the route that I took? I think so. Is that the only route? Um, I'm not sure. But... It, yeah, that was the same that I had to... Uh, that I had to use in the end. Again, it, it gets really difficult because of these... These uh, light bulbs that only have two connections, so you have to get from one to them and you have to get out here again so you don't have many options and this one had to be the last because it's the only one that's only connected to one other light bulb so this one has to be the second to last and then yeah you kind of kind of have to work from from this one backwards and figure out a good path that one was really cool this one right after it um, a lot easier, but still, okay. This one wasn't too bad. Oh, yeah, patterns. More one out of threes. I had so many one out of three, one out of three, two out of three, one out of two. Anyways. Um, four, seven, seven, and oh, that's it. Right. Press the red button, yeah. Uh, that chapter is a secret room and that was the end of the main game and that's the bonus chapter. We get to speak with Tim again and more secret cave secret rooms and then the secret laboratory. And then we find this passageway that connects back to the secret passageway under the secret stairway. And also, a uh, pretty cool idea, they use this one scene and turn it into a hidden object puzzle and the other scene got turned into a yeah, re regular scene. <laughs> so they swapped puzzle and scene. Again, with the uh, hidden object puzzle being recycled. Still, uh, that <laughs> I still think that's a really good idea. And I really like that. And that's the one with the springs. This pattern. The elevator. Bonus chapter was pretty short. Um, but still. It was okay. Oh, well. Somewhat. Way too many out of threes. <laughs> um, and kind of messed up the uh, the timing of getting the diary entries here. I don't know, I somehow got the, the entry for what's under this cover first and then the entry for the cover. Um, that's the one in the generator room. This puzzle, okay, I solved it in a different way, I think. Doesn't matter. And generator room number two. And then this one, again, that was not 
too difficult, but still, okay. And that's it. Congratulations, you have completed Whispered Secrets, the story of Title Collector's Edition. That is it. Now that was everything. Overall, a fantastic game. I really liked everything about it. Music, voice acting, all of the puzzles were great. Um, the inductive puzzle, the mini games. It was fantastic. It was, it's a really great game. And again, like I said, if you have a, if you do a second playthrough, you will find that in the hidden object puzzles, there are actually, um, you will have to look for different objects. Again, great idea. I think I said that like four times already. <laughs> um, so yeah, I can only recommend this game and think it was great. I may continue with the series. Let's see. And I thank everyone for watching and goodbye. Until the next one.